have Mr. Luis with us from Public Goal. That how does Public Goal addresses concern related to counterfeit and unethical practices in precious metal industry? In Malaysia, so far we have seldom have this counterfeit. Okay, we have uh, very minimum cases. We are helping their that. So for Public Goal, how we uh, avoid this problem? Every gold bar that we minted, we try to make the pattern very sophisticated yes. and very fine. So with the finest of the minting quality, so we do away, away all of this uh, counterfeit. So uh, you can go to our website, go to Public Gold website and see. Our back of our gold bar, you have a very fine Public Gold, Public Gold, very fine. And then some of the gold bar, we have some uh, dragon. The dragon also very fine dragon, you see. So the pattern itself is do away a lot of counterfeit. Oh. Yeah, because so fine that the counterfeiter, they do not have the mean quality to have that. This one thing. Another thing, we distribute our product through all the customers we know. Yeah? It's like the agency, the, the dealership type of thing. So with that, we also do away uh, with a lot of the counterfeit because uh, they sell to their friend and then when they sell back, it's very easy yeah, to know whether the pieces is genuine or the fake one. So it's not a problem in Malaysia so far for the counterfeit. The company's website actually highlights its commitment to the education and raising awareness about gold and silver as investment assets. Can you share some examples of Public Gold's educational initiative or programs aimed at informing and empowering Malaysian investors? Like how does Public Gold contribute to knowledge and understanding of precious metal investing in Malaysia? For Public Gold, what we did uh, 16 years back is we always allocate the public what is the benefit of saving in physical gold. Uh, we believe that the gold is very important uh, asset class every people should keep in their, in their portfolio. So we conduct through physical online, physical uh, seminar yeah, before COVID and 10-15 years ago. But during COVID time, we educate the public to the web dinner. Every week we have seminar to the public, we tell public why they should save in gold, why they should put some of the portfolio in gold. And so far so good, currently public gold, we just hitting 1 million customers that buy and save in gold, in physical gold particularly. Cultural preferences and traditions often influence gold consumption pattern in different Asian countries. How does public gold adapt its products and marketing strategies to re resonate with the diverse preferences and cultural usages of customers in various Asian markets? Can you provide example of how public gold tailors its offering to cater to a specific Asian customers segments? Okay, for public gold, we know that in Asia, we have uh, 10 countries and, and, and 5, 6 religions and a lot of languages. So, when we go into the country, we need to adapt to their culture. Uh, like in Malaysia alone, we have three races, yeah? three different races. So, we have different, different minted goba for specific races. Like for uh, Malay, we have uh, one goba called Bunga Mas. It's very specific, Malay, Songket pattern at the back. Songket is one of the uh, Batek pattern, yeah? so we have that go back to cater for the Malay market. We also, for, uh, for the Chinese market, we also have one Thai Fook. Thai Fook is at the back is the dragon and it means prosperity to cater for the Malay, Mal, uh, Malaysian Chinese market. And for the Indian market, we also got one go bullion called Mahalichmi. Mahalichmi, the, the god of goddess of fortune. We have that go back to cater for the Indian market. So we are well covered for the three races in Malaysia's gold market. And when we enter to the Indonesia, we try to uh, I mean the generic public gold gold bar. And until one day, we're going to do the specific Indonesian uh, pattern gold bullion for the Indonesian market. But currently, we also have one grand bar. Grand bar, we try to do the chola pattern for the Indonesian market. Indonesian like the batik a lot. So different district, they have different uh, batik. So we try to do this, do the different different batik pattern to suit their need. So far, so we are doing better day by day in the Indonesian market as well. So the gold and silver market can subject to price fluctuation and global economic trends. How does public gold navigate these challenges and provide guidance to its customers in Malaysia? Can you discuss any market insights like research reports or advisory services that public gold offers to help customers make informed investment decisions? Okay. So in, Malaysia, in public gold in Malaysia, we always educate the customer to buy gold every month, one month, one gram, something like that. 
so to force them to save in the physical goal. So by using one month one gram, they average now the price fluctuation. So in the uh, price averaging method, you see. So in the long run, you know, gold price will be inflated in terms of price due to the printing of too much paper money, the inflation, the chip in uh, by the central bank of the world. So gold price for the last 30 years, the gold price is, is getting higher and higher. So in ranked term, now we're almost at the all-time high. So whatever our customer buy 15 years ago, 10 years ago, 6 years ago, they are making a lot of money. So public gold is creating a lot of wealth in fact in the Malaysian economy. And with that, they are very thankful to public gold and they are very thankful to the customer, to their friend that introduced them to buy the gold from us. Comments on APPNC 2023. The program here, this is uh, many years I attend. Huh? We attended more than 10 years LBMA conference. We also attended SBMA conference here for the last uh, five, six years. So we see every year the participants getting more and more. And then the sponsor also getting more and more. So we believe with the SBMA to propagate the gold industry in, in the Southeast Asia and the Asia especially, we believe SBMA is going to do good and do great in the near future. And we believe SBMA is going to get a lot of support and more support from the industrial player around this region. We believe SBMA will do great. Thank you. Thank you so much.